Immersed Robot. Hello everyone, welcome to Immerse Robot again. So in this video I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Frankenfov Field of View mod for the Reverb G2, which I mentioned in a couple of my videos now on the Reverb G2. But for anybody that doesn't know, this is a mod which requires you to remove the stock facial interface that comes with the Reverb entirely, remove the plastic and the face cushion, and then you purchase a separate face cushion, like a generic kind of face cushion for an HTC Vive or a Samsung Odyssey or something like that and then you can velcro that directly onto the headset rather than having a plastic interface at all. This is intended to give you a greater field of view and also hopefully give you a slightly bigger sweet spot because your eyes are close to the lenses. So two of the main criticisms with the Reverb G2 is the field of view and a small sweet spot and these are the two things that I've mentioned before in my videos too. So I was eager to try this mod and I tried it with a 6mm face cushion I had lying around for first of all, but that was much too thin. My eyes were touching the lenses and yeah, it just wasn't workable at all. So I ordered a 22 millimeter face cushion for an HTC Vive and this works really well. It's not designed for this purpose, of course, but it works really well with this and it fits perfectly. My eyes are very close to the lenses, but not quite touching, um, which is probably the most you can hope for with this kind of solution. And I went in when I fitted it, I tried a few experiences, I tried Elite Dangerous and Microsoft Flight Simulator, and immediately you notice the field of view is definitely improved with this mod. You can see much more of the world around you, and it gives almost like a, a square field of view, rather than the more circular rounded edges kind of field of view that you will be used to with the stock facial interface for the Reverb G2. Um, you, you get so close to the lenses, in all honesty, that you do see the edge of the display. It's you the maximum field of view really that this cape this headset is capable of now it's not quite up to the index in my opinion uh, at least in my experience and this will of course be different for everybody but for me it's not quite up to the field of view of the index but it's very very close there's not too much in it and I did notice immediately going into Microsoft Flight Simulator first of all the sweet spot is marginally improved as well within this experience now I noticed this sweet spot improvement most in Microsoft Flight Simulator and this is something I also mentioned in a previous video where I believe that by undersampling that game which you really have to do to get any reasonable kind of performance out of the game then the sweet spot is not so much of an issue because the central clarity of that resolution in the headset is not quite as much as the native resolution of the headset whereas if you try Elite Dangerous for example which you can run closer to the native resolution of the headset at least in the horizons then you will notice that that central point of clarity within the headset is very very clear it's very sharp because of that high resolution unfortunately that then highlights the small sweet spot even more because you is any movement in your head you'll notice that there will be a blurring effect whereas of course in Microsoft Flight Simulator because you're undersampling that screen it's not quite sharp in the central view anyway so that means that you don't notice the sweet spot quite as much at least that's my theory and that's why I tend to notice the sweet spot more in Elite Dangerous than I do in Microsoft of flight simulator. Now, through trying this mod, I think it's great. It's definitely worth trying for yourself if you've got a Reverb G2 because it's relatively quick and easy to do. You just order a replacement face cushion, stick a few bits of self-adhesive Velcro on there, and then you're away really to give it a try. Now, the mod might not be suitable for everybody depending on face shape, eye position, and especially, of course, if you're a glasses wearer as well because your eyes will simply be too close to the lenses for it to be useful. But it's a very good mod. It's not quite as comfortable as the stock facial interface uh, which comes with the Reverb G2 which is very similar to the Valve Index interface as well and that is just sort of the height of comfort for me I, I just really love both of those uh, facial interfaces on these headsets this one because of the type of uh, face cushion that I ordered which is really all you can get now like these faux leather type of face cushions which I'm not a big fan of the comfort level for me isn't quite as good and also unless you adjust it really really well then you will get more 
more light leakage into the headset as well so more light will be coming in from around the small gaps of your face to the face cushion and through the nose gap and things like that there are ways around that you can probably sort something out if the light leakage is a big problem so it's just worth mentioning in this video but I am going to continue to use this mod for the time being anyway uh, in spite of the comfort issues and only marginal increase in the sweet spot but uh, yeah I think it's a great thing to try and it certainly gives you a different perspective on this headset so this is just a quick update for anybody who's interested how I'm getting on with my Reverb G2 and yeah I'm keeping it for a while longer I want to give it a fair shake and we'll see how it goes but that's pretty much it for this very quick video thank you for watching and I'll see you next time please consider supporting Immerse Robot on Patreon or joining the Discord or following me on Twitter or better yet all of the above links in the description below